Cinco de Mayo weekend. Um, I'm just right here now just trying to celebrate, enjoy myself. I might have me a couple of tequila shots and dance some salsa tonight or maybe some. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for all the support. If you guys want to ask me some questions, go on. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I actually like it, man. Uh, I actually really, really like the blue hair. Um, the only the problem is, long. like, every, like, two days, my freaking hair grows really, really long. I should get, I should get my hair gray like Dan Raphael now. This is like gray right here. <laughs> yeah, I should. Uh, all mixing colors and stuff. I stay my pillow a couple times. I actually stay my hats, too. <laughs> Jojo. Yeah. Francisco Salazar. Congrats. Thank you, Francisco. Um, last two days, you've been more animated. I mean, the press conference, Tevin Farmer, the hair. Is it more part of what you went through last year? And then also maybe the fact that you really want a world title shot against Tevin Farmer. Where, where's that more animated side of you come from? You know what? I feel like I'm just being myself now, man. I'm just enjoying myself. Uh, I feel like I was... Uh, you know, uh, really uh, thinking about other people's opinions and thinking about what people had to say about me and stuff like that. But now it's just like I have that mentality where I'm just going to be myself. And if people don't like it, then it's okay. I'm, I'm going to talk crap. I'm going to I'm going to be the nice guy. I'm going to be very humble, take pictures with the fans and everything. But if someone tries to come up to me and stuff, then I'm going to disrespect them as well because I don't put up with that. Um, and also, like with my my hair and stuff like that, I just I just like to be creative, man. I'm very fashionable. I like the, always dressing kind of different, always uh, trying to stand out and stuff. So it's just it's just myself now. Jojo, oh. Jesse Casas from uh, 97 Nueva La Raza and Mega 96.3 radio stations from LA. Uh, can you explain to us how you felt tonight coming back into the ring and? Um, Secondly, what does it mean to you to be back on a big stage like this and represent uh, the city of El Monte, where a lot of good people come out of there, myself included? Represent, brother, and prayers to you always. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Um, I, I felt really, really good uh, fighting on such a big stage. Uh, like I said, man, I really, really put my heart into this training camp. Um, we we're trying to get the... champion at 130 pounds no matter who the opponent is if it's Tevin Farmer, Javante Davis, Miguel Bachad, any of those guys man I feel like I could actually beat those guys man I feel like I, I'm I'm really well prepared at 130 and I, I'm ready I'm ready to go um, and shout out to South Amani and Al Mani. I know that they have really really uh, you know you know you know how it is in all the cities man everybody has like their struggles everybody has their bad sides and their good sides and I just want to be the, a positive role model not only to my city of South Amani and Al Mani, but to everybody in general uh, the youth uh, people uh, my age people older than me I just want to be you know a positive impact and showcase to everybody that dreams come true as long as you keep faith as long as you stay in a positive mentality everything everything's gonna happen as long as you just you know grind it out everything's just gonna fall into place Jojo, great win tonight. Uh, what's next on your list of goals and accomplishments? What's the number one goal that you want to achieve moving forward? Uh, being, becoming a, a world champion. That's, that's my main goal. My main goal is to, to become a world champion. Uh, like I said, last year I was this close, man. I was opening up the door, man. I had that, that shot, and every time I think about it, man, it makes me want to throw up. Every time I think about, you know, almost having that road title around my waist, it gets me really, really mad, and that just makes me more furious, and that just makes me more determined to actually become champion this year. So uh, my number one priority is to become the champion that I deserve, not only for myself, but for my mom, my dad, my sisters, everybody that they all sacrificed for me, man. My, my mom and my dad, they sacrificed a lot for me to be where I'm at today, and I, I thank them a lot because if it wasn't for them, man, I probably wouldn't be here today, and without them... Uh, I wouldn't be who I am. So I really want to become world champion. I really want to show, showcase to them that I could become a, the champion that they know that I could be. I actually, uh, I have a contract right here that Eddie Hearn just gave me. <laughs> we do? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Thank you for everything, guys. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Any other questions? Jojo, Jojo, Eddie, with uh, all the drama this week and right now, does that handshake, is that, a, is that like an agreement with the farmer fight? It, Jojo, and 
do you and your team, do, do you guys want to pursue that fight next? Eddie? Yeah, from, from me, the, the handshake wasn't a contract, but certainly I think Jojo Diaz against Tevin Farmer is a great fight. In fact, listen, it's been so good working with, with Golden Boy and we're on the same platform. I want to get a card together, together with Oscar and Eric and, and Bernard where all our guys take on each other. So I'm talking about Jaime Munguia against Jesse Vargas, I'm talking about Tevin Farmer against Jojo Diaz. I'm talking about Ryan Garcia against Martin Ward. I really feel like we can put on seven or eight fights, Matram versus Golden Boy, and it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of competition. We're all competitors. We all want to win so badly. And I think Jojo Diaz is a, is a popular contender. Tevin Farmer has a mandatory challenger uh, in Fremois for the IBF. He'll take care of that in July. And then September, October, you know, Tevin Farmer, I think he's boxed five times in eight months. So he's been one of the most active world champions out there. And, you know, he's in a position where no one really gave him a shot. So, you know, he, he wants to call his shots right now. But also it's important to see who the public want and who does own want. And I think Jojo Diaz is a worthy contender. Thank you, Eddie. Yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll fight Tevin Farmer anywhere. Uh, whenever the contracts are going to be sent to me, I'll, I'll be uh, willing to accept any challenge, any challenge. Uh, I want to just fight for a world title. If, even if it's not Tevin Farmer, it could be against Andrew Cancio, Alberto Machado winner, Miguel Pachado, or uh, uh, Francisco Vargas, whoever wins out of those titles. I really want just a title shot and showcase to everybody that 130 pounds is, is the new weight. Jojo. Uh, Luis Mendez, uh, Hope Roble. Uh, what do you feel is going to be your fight limit for a year? How many fights will you take on? Um, I'm, I'm willing to fight uh, as many times as possible. Um, I love to fight. That's, I mean, I'm a fighter. I'm a boxer. I've been doing this for since I was 11 years old. Um, that's all I do is box. I mean, I have a couple of investments with my manager and stuff like that already, but but my passion, my main passion is, is boxing. I mean, I love to fight. And uh, whenever they give me the opportunity, I'm always calling Ralph. I'm always calling Ralph every single week. Like, hey, Ralph, do we got to fight? Do we got to fight? Let's, let's link it up. Let's start training camp and stuff. So, like I said, man, I'm, I, I want to fight whenever, as many times as possible. Um, hopefully this year I can stay very active. I already got two fights uh, uh, under my belt. Hopefully I get two more, maybe even three. All right, let, let these guys go get tequila tacos.